today. President Tinubu sacks five ministers, redeploys ten, and makes seven fresh nominations. Former Governor Bago sets to improve artisanal mining in Niger State. Niger State House of Assembly urged executive arm of government to urgently recruit qualified medical doctors in Kontogora General Hospital. Welcome to Lina TV News today. I am Anna Asibi Moses. Months after growing calls for President Bola Tinibu to rejig his cabinet, President Bola Tinibu on Wednesday sacks five of his ministers. He also reassigned 10 ministers to new ministerial portfolios and appointed seven new ministers for Senate confirmation. Over time, there have been growing calls for the president to reshuffle his cabinet, as many Nigerians are not impressed by the performance of some of the ministers, especially in the face of unprecedented inflation, excruciating economic situation, and rising insecurity. On Wednesday, during the Federal Executive Council, the president sacked Oju Ken Ohaniye as Minister of Women Affairs, Lola Adejon as Minister of Tourism, Tahir Maman as Minister of Education, Abdullahi Gwazo as Minister of State, Housing and Urban Development, and Jamila Ibrahim as Minister of Youth Development. Tinibu subsequently nominated Bianca Odumegu Ojuku as the Minister of State Foreign Affairs, while Nentewe Yilwatza as the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Reduction, official bringing an end to the tenure of suspended Beta Edu. The President also nominated Megari Dingyadi as Minister of Labor and Employment, Jumoke Odunwole as the Minister of Education, Edi Maiha as Minister of the New Created Livestock Development Ministry, Yusuf Atta as the Minister of State Housing and Urban Development, with Swaiba Ahmed as Minister of State Education. United States Governor Fama Muhammad Umar Bago has met with stakeholders in the mining sector during one of his schedules in Brazil with a view to facilitating and encouraging partnership that will improve the mining sector in the state. The former governor disclosed that his administration intends to organize the miners into cooperatives, explaining that responsible mining entails ethical practices, environmental stewardship, community engagement, and a balance in productivity with a commitment to sustainability and social responsibility. Former Governor Umar Bago reaffirmed that the initiative and other strategies evolved are designed not only to improve the working conditions of artisanal miners, but also to promote the collective marketing of their products, saying the establishment of cooperatives will create room for the government to create a structured framework for mining that enables artisans to sell their products more efficiently and sustainably while simultaneously mitigating the risk associated with their work. The former governor added that the project is equally anticipated to uplift the livelihood of the miners and promote safer mining practices throughout Niger State as they will also be provided with standardized equipment that adheres to safety and operational guidelines, thereby promoting economic growth while also prioritizing environmental protection and sustainability. All these efforts are part of ongoing efforts of former Governor Umar Bago to transition artisan miners in Niger State and safeguard them from the risk of mine collapses and exposure to hazardous substances like lead poisoning. Niger State House of Assembly has urged the executives to, as a matter of urgency, recruit qualified doctors to be deployed to Contogora General Hospital or, in the alternative, retired doctors be engaged on contract basis to provide medical services. This was the resolution reached when a matter of urgent public importance urging the executive arm of Niger State government to, as a matter of urgency, provide doctors in Contogora General Hospital to arrest the untimely death of innocent people. Sponsored by Honorable Sani Umar, member representing Kotogura One constituency at the plenary of the House. 
Representing his motion at the plenary of the house, the mover said that good health is indeed wealth and that Contobora General Hospital currently does not have qualified doctors to provide life-saving procedures on several patients needing medical assistance. Sometimes up to five patients die per day. He further explained that with the current economic realities facing the country, most families cannot afford to patronize private clinics and hence rely on medical services provided by public medical centers. Today is a global celebration of the UN's mission to promote peace, security, human rights and development around the world. In the last 79 years back, the day has been set aside to annually mark the anniversary of entry into force of the UN Charter in 1945 to help amplify common agenda of nations. UN Day 2024 once again serves as a reminder of the organization's parietal role in addressing global challenges and fostering of international days. This year's theme is to highlight key challenges the world faces today with a focus on multilateralism, global solidarity, and international cooperation. Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC, has said that no fewer than 1,191 people have been killed by diphtheria from May 2023 to date across Nigeria. The incident manager, National Diphtheria Emergency Operations Center, NCDC, Muzamin Gadanya, disclosed this in Kaduna during the National Intra Action Review meeting for diphtheria outbreak. He revealed that the country recorded suspected cases of more than 38,000 people, while the number of confirmed cases stood at 23,000. And that's about the size of our package on Lena TV News today. Do well to follow us on all our social media platforms on Lena TV 247. You can also visit our website on www.lenatv.com.ng for news coverage.